Los. Guys, what's up everybody? Here we are back. There weren't any really cool submissions over the weekend, so I figured we would break down uh, maybe one of the most iconic submissions ever in the UFC, and that was Anderson Silva, Chael Sonnen won when Anderson was getting dominated for the entire fight and then pulled off this amazing triangle armbar combination. Let's look at it, okay? What happened? The big thing that happened was Anderson was doing, Anderson did what was called a push triangle, okay? A push triangle is when you have the wrists, okay? And you push one and you pull one and push one, and then you come over and you lock your triangle, okay? So where did this happen from? Anderson, if you go back and watch the fight, had really a really long control on Chael's right arm, okay? And Chael was trying to just punch here with Anderson. And Anderson was defending, right? Blocking the punches. And then he put this knee on the hip, okay? Right after a punch of Chael's, the knee came on the hip. He lifted his hips a little bit, and boom, immediately locks a super tight triangle, okay? Chael's arm was forward here. Chael had the arms on the chest. Anderson grabbed and adjusted and now started to squeeze. Um, you hear often to pull down on the head. And yes, this can get it, okay? But the key, look, Los here has the pull on the head. Nothing, right? What starts to make it happen is look at this action with my knees. Okay, look at my right foot in particular. It starts to travel out so that my knees travel in. And now this is what starts to get the choke. If he does nothing, he's got to tap, okay? But Chael started to react. He stood up and he steps the foot over, okay? All the way over my body, go ahead, sit down. Boom, they got here. And then Anderson got on the arm, took the arm out, and there was the fake tap and everything. Uh, kind of tap, no tap. But let's look at it again, and then look. let's look at some other options. Um, where you can go to make your triangles more secure, okay? So, off the double, double wrist control, or in MMA, off the punch, okay? Look, you swim and trap the arm. And now from here, the triangle happens, boom! And now this is much worse for Los, because the arm is on the mat, okay? A lot of times when the arm is on the chest, look, the only way that Los can really start to do his defenses like push up and then step over the body, okay? Or even when he has posture with this, he's able to posture with this arm. So a lot of times when I hit what's called this trap of the triangle, the first thing I like to do is swim the arm to the mat. Because now, Los, it's very hard for you to get what? Posture. You can't get, it's very hard to get posture. That was with no resistance. Especially now when I pull the head down, there's no way he's getting posture, okay? The only thing he can start to do to defend the triangles, drive towards me, okay, to relieve the pressure. And now we scoop, adjust, and we have the same finish, okay? So, again, uh, Big Nog made this very famous two off of double wrist control. Big Nog controlled double wrists all the time in pride, right, and caught triangles and arm bars from here. And, obviously, and Anderson is a student of Big Nog, but wrist control. Here's the mistake, is Anderson did nothing with the wrist and lulled Chael to sleep with it. So Chael thought he was okay to just punch. Anderson was just defending, moving, adjusting, okay? I, when I watched it again, he was here for like 30 seconds. Chael allowed Anderson to control this wrist. If he would have thrown one punch, circled in, circled out, now it's gone. Anderson has to set the whole thing up again. Okay, but here it is, he held it the whole time. Inside, foot on the hip, up with the hips, locks the triangle. When the hands are on our chest, look, I'm not faulting Anderson at all, it worked amazingly, okay? But a uh, slight improvement, a slight, uh, it got hairy, right? It got hairy where you're like, oh my God, is he gonna get out? And it was because the arm was on the chest. Swim the arm to the mat. And now start to squeeze, he comes forward, invert a little bit, adjust, and then there it is. So guys, that's it for this week's uh, breakdown. Uh, I believe it was UFC, I don't know what UFC it was, but it was in 2010, uh, was the card, amazing fight. Uh, 
Chael did ex exactly what he said he was going to do in that fight. I'm going to beat you up for 25 minutes. Yeah. He was correct. I re I rewatched it recently and yeah. was like, damn, he really did put an ass whooping on he him. He put an oh, ass whooping on him right for, till the end. Right till the end. He put it he put it on him for 25 minutes, 24 minutes and 30 seconds. And in that 30 seconds, he got caught. In the rematch, Anderson destroys him. Um, amazing fight. Go check out the Seconds Out podcast. Okay? Eric Mixick and I are uh, always breaking down fights, trying to give that inside information. So that is always there for you. And I would love to hear what you would like me to break down. If you would like me to break down a technique, a move, a finish, send it my way. I'll do it. Uh, I'll post it on my YouTube here, and I'll, I'll make sure that I tag you on the gram when I do it. So, if you want something, send it my way. As always, Los, thank you very much. Everyone out there, have a great day.